We're getting our first look this morning at a space shuttle replacement. SpaceX formally unveiled its Dragon V2 last night. The company says that the spacecraft can dock with the International Space Station without any outside help. NASA believes the new capsule could launch by 2017. SpaceX founder Elon Musk calls it a big leap forward in technology. Dragon version 2, uh, capable of carrying up to seven astronauts, uh, propulsively landing uh, almost anywhere in the world, and uh, something that's designed, as I said, to be uh, fully reusable. So you can fly this multiple times, allowing for potential dramatic reduction in the cost of access to space. CBS News science contributor Mitro Kaku is a physics professor at the Sydney University of New York. Good morning. Morning. So beyond the advance in technology, what is the significance of this? Well, three years ago, President Barack Obama took a huge gamble by canceling the space program, the shuttle, the Constellation program, and then critics said it would put us at the mercy of hitchhiking on Russian booster rockets, and then NASA would be an agency to nowhere. Well, NASA is coming back. Because in three to four years, this could be the future of the U.S. manned space program, an advanced version of the space shuttle with new safety systems, yeah. giving us cheaper access to but space. But in private hands? In private hands. That's the whole ball of wax. We want to drive down the cost of space travel. You know, to put this in orbit around the planet Earth costs $10,000 per pound. Mm -hmm. Think of that. That's your weight in gold. Think of your body made out of solid gold. That's how expensive the space program mm -hmm. is. And Obama wanted to drive down the cost by relying on private enterprise rather than tax dollars. It's a gamble mm -hmm. that seems to have paid off, isn't it? Well, the good news is that the Dragon module and Falcon booster rocket has had four Four successful missions in space so far, new safety systems that the old space shuttle didn't have. Mm -hmm. The bad news is that we are subject to blackmail from the Russians. The Russian deputy prime minister has already said that he may kick the United States out at a certain point, denying us access to outer space after maybe 2018. So what do we do then? It's a yeah. race against time. Yeah. Let's have this operational before 2018 when the latest contract expires. And in principle, we could be left uh, mm -hmm. homeless in outer space. Well, is it too, much, too expensive to put our own space station up? Uh, well, the booster rockets that are being developed uh, are expensive, but, however, they are cheaper than the e earlier versions that were done by using taxpayers' dollars. Mm -hmm. Private enterprise wants to drive down the cost at every point. Bureaucracies have less incentive to drive down the cost of space travel. But again, it'll take three to four years before this is fully operational and we send U.S. astronauts on a U.S. booster rocket. Mm, would you go? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Meet <laughs> I'll let others let, right, get Joe all Kaku. the accolades and all Thank the bravado. You. Thank you. I wouldn't go either. Hold me with you. Charlie would go.